Hello, and welcome to Lab with Nightly News. I'm Michael Ramajo. And I'm Michaela Moran. The big story tonight is the SGO elections this Friday. But first, we'll go to Arlo Dobby, our resident meteorologist, who will give us a preview of the weather. It's going to be nice. Thank you, Arlo. Great use of the weather budget. In entertainment news, LTC recently performed the magic of Zoom. Do we have a clip? Sure do. Um, oh, I almost remember. Uh, Orchidius. Expelliarmus, Accio! Don't hurt yourself, Malco. Great stuff there. Looking forward to the next LTC performance on June 20th. Speaking of performances, this Friday, June 5th, is Lab's annual talent show, featuring acts by Michael Mickelson and Anderson Cornwell. Some of the teachers performing include Miss Price, Miss Weinstein, Miss Krupe, Robin Graham, and the world-famous Mr. Keo. The talent show starts at 6. Find the link in the Lab Life email. Later today, at 1 p.m., Lab will be holding a Brave Space by Google Meet in which Lab students and faculty share feelings and thoughts as we engage in courageous conversations about the racial injustices that we are facing in our country right now. Soon, equity leaders and allies will be present to facilitate. Some of the topics include peaceful protest, civil disobedience, rioting, and the meaning of American citizenship. It's never been more important to have a conversation about these issues than now. But back to our top news story for today, the Lab SGO elections this Friday, June 5th. The events that are unfolding in our nation remind us of the importance of strong and compassionate leadership. We'll begin with campaign speeches for candidates for treasurer, Austin Saji and Eva Guitardi. Hi, Lab community. I hope you're all safe and healthy during these crazy times. My name is Austin Saji. I'm going to be a junior and I'm running for treasurer this year. My goal as treasurer is to make sure the money gets spent in the most effective ways possible, such as more funding for clubs if needed, more field trips, the school's cleanliness, and all sports teams. I want to work with each and every one of you to determine where the money should be spent. It's up to us to make this happen through fundraisers, so help me help all of you and vote for me. Hi, I'm Eva Jatardi and I'm running for treasurer. I'll get straight to the point. Things are going to change after all this clears up and I want to be a part of that change, or at least part of helping everyone adjust. Money's gonna be a big part of that because really money fuels our world to a lesser degree our school, but someone needs to manage it. Friends will be quick to call me mature, determined, the one who will sit in front of the lockers and be asked to move two minutes later, but they'll also tell you that I care, and I do. I care about the school and I think you should care about where your money's going. As treasurer, I'll be open to discussing what can and should be funded here at Lab. So I'm Eva Jatardi and I'm running for treasurer. Next up are the students running for vice president, of which there are two positions. The candidates are Noah Stern, Brianna Trinidad, Aiden Hatsi Memos, Andrew Yan, and Alexa Canarella. My name is Noah Stern and I'm a rising junior at Lab. When I think about this upcoming year, I realize it will be filled with challenges trying to figure out the best way that we can all learn and function as a school community. It will be more important than ever for the elected student representatives to work closely with Brooke alongside the administration and teachers. We all learn differently and have been each adjusting to remote learning in our own way. I am running for vice president because now, more than ever, Lab needs strong leadership to represent the students' needs and concerns so that we can all have the best school year possible. On June 5th, vote Noah Stern for VP. Thank you, be safe, and stay well. Hi, I'm Brianna Trinidad, and I'm running for student body vice president. I hope everyone and their loved ones are doing well during such difficult times. As vice president, I want to create the change that the lab community needs, like maintaining and encouraging the racial equity work so everyone has an opportunity to help. With the help of the staff, we can get more teachers of color and have more days around race and empowerment like Women's Day. I want the lab community to come together and support one another. Whether a person of color or not, everyone will feel welcome, accepted, and heard. Having the community as a whole will provide the school with more school spirit and pride. Well, Brianna Trinidad for Vice President to have your dreams heard and spoken into existence. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aiden Hatsimamos, and I'm running for Lab Student Vice President. First off, I would like to say that I hope my teachers, peers, friends, and all faculty are staying as healthy and safe as possible through these unprecedented times. If elected as student vice president, I would work tirelessly with Brooke, Mr. Koch, and other faculty members to make Lab a better school as a whole. 
I would also work with my peers on the student government, my peers in the classroom, and leaders all around the school to make sure lab becomes a more diverse and better place. I think that I could really better the school and I would really appreciate your support. My heart goes out to all of you and your families through this tough time. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Andrew, a sophomore running for vice president of lab for the next school year. I want this job because I've represented lab in the high school fair and done a lot of other work to the lab community. I also won the HOLL Student Spotlight Award in my very first town hall year as a freshman. Since then, I'm considered lab's big man. Now I am ready to lead lab and bring big changes to make our school safer, stronger, and healthier for all. I'm attending equity meetings and will continue working on and improving the racial equity system for lab to be sure all labbies are equal. I will improve the remote learning experience if we have it for the next school year. Thank you, stay safe and healthy, and vote Andrew Yan for vice president of lab this coming Friday. Hi everyone, my name is Alexa Canarella and I'm running to be your next vice president. I am co-founder of the Period Project and a three-year member of student government, as well as Teens Take Charge. As students, we can all greatly benefit from more bonding experiences, both inside and outside of school, and I am dedicated to partnering with the administration to create these opportunities. Engaging in meaningful dialogue and having conversations help us to get to know one another and prepare us for the globalized world. I am also an advocate for more lab spirit, a study hall period, and more days centered around women's empowerment, racial equity, and pride. Vote for a focused and determined candidate. You can count on me to hear your voice and take action. Vote Alexa. What a field. This will be a difficult decision for many labbies. That's for sure. Next up for secretary, we have Kendall Tarrant, who we definitely didn't forget about. Hi everyone, my name is Kendall Tarrant and I'll be a senior at lab this coming year and I'm running for secretary of student government. I've been an active member of SGO since my freshman year, so I know what goes on in the club and can help make sure that real change is made at lab this year. I know many issues that have been addressed by students at lab and I will help find solutions for them. I have already been working with other members of SGO this year and throughout the quarantine to find ways of improving the lab community. We have ideas like making special days like Sports Day and Spirit Week even better and for making everyone's high school experience as good as it can be. Please vote for me for secretary so real change can be made. Thank you. Finally, we have our two candidates vying for presidency of the lab SGO, India Oldham and Fallon Utley. Hi everyone, my name is Fallon Utley and I'm running for student body president. I hope everyone and their families are doing well and staying safe during this pandemic. This campaign experience has been extremely surreal for me. Ever since I was a freshman and attended my first student government meeting, I knew that I would want to be president someday in order to make change for Lab's community. As president, I will ensure that Lab will continue with racial equity work, have a reformed health curriculum, more Lab apparel and pride, will incorporate feminine hygiene products in ladies' bathrooms, have more trips in order for students to gain experience beyond the classroom, and will continue remote student government meetings regardless of the circumstances. Feel free to check out my Instagram page at Fallon for SGO President to gain a better understanding of my visions for the upcoming school year. I love being a part of Lab's amazing student body, and I hope that I will be elected as student body president. Vote Fallon and your voice will be heard. Thank you so much. There you have it, folks. Remember, as Mr. Sprinkle says, elections have consequences. Um, that's a little dark, no? Can we end on something a little bit more positive? Howdy. Yes, elections have consequences, but when people are engaged, informed, and care, great things can happen. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle. Rock the vote this Friday at your local polling place in your living room. It's going to be nice. Thank you for joining us for Lab Nightly News. Stay safe and wash your hands.